In this tutorial, we will learn how to draw a wall mounted hook. To start with, let's draw the base plate. So we go to sketch, we'll start a new 2D sketch. Let's do this on the YZ plane, and we'll select the two point center rectangle tool. We'll start this at the origin, and we'll input a height of 20 mil and a width of 60. Let's then go to 3D model, and let's extrude that profile by three millimeters, press OK. And let's go to the 3D model tab and start to apply some fillets. Let's make these 10 mil rads. We'll apply these to both of the bottom corners just here, press OK. Looking good. We now need to identify uh, where we want our countersunk holes to go. Let's select this face, create a sketch. Then we'll input these four points. We can just put them anywhere for the time being. And then we'll select the dimension tool, dimension these up. So from the top line, this uh, center point of this countersunk hole will be five millimeters. And then from the sideline here, it will be again, five millimeters. From this hole down to the bottom line will be five mil. And then from the sideline here will be 15. Exactly the same for the ones on the other side. So let's take the horizontal constraint, make these two horizontal, make these two horizontal. And then we just need to dimension this one from this line at five mil, and this one from this line at 15 mil. And there we have fully constrained uh, the center points of all of our four holes. So let's finish the sketch there. Let's go to 3D model and we'll select the hole command uh, for this. So yep. The inventor has already selected the positions and uh, the type of hole. Uh, there'll, be a, there'll be a through hole and uh, there'll be a seat, which is uh, countersunk. Uh, termination will be through all, and that's the correct direction. We want this dimension here to be six millimeters, and this dimension down here is three millimeters with 90 degrees. That's correct. Let's press OK. We now have our four countersunk holes for mounting this to a wall. And next, let's draw the sphere at the top. So for this, we'll go into the origin folder and we'll select the X, Y plane. Let's right click on that and select the new sketch. Let's put in the circle, which will become the sphere. So this is a diameter of 15 mil. Then we can dimension from the center point to the very bottom of the plate. That'll be 60 mil. And then again, from the center point to the uh, front face of the plate, uh, this will be 70 mil. Oh, sorry, 17 mil. Uh, and then we can put a line in from the top to the bottom of the circle, and this will be our, our line of revolution. We can go to 3D model and select the revolve tool, we can select half the profile, and then select the line of revolution and press OK. And there we have the sphere of our model. And next we need to model the arm of our hook. So for this, let's select this face here. We'll go into create sketch, and we're just going to draw in a triangle like so. So we two lines there, join those up. Let's put an equal constraint between these two lines here so that, that they are at the same angle and the same length. Let's then use the vertical constraint between the origin and the join between the two lines. And then we can input a dimension between these two endpoints here, which will be 16 millimeters. That's looking good. And so the idea here is that we will use the loft command to loft from this triangle profile here up to an eclipse profile, which will come on a separate plane, which we'll input now. So let's select the XZ plane, and then we'll create a new plane. We'll offset that from the XZ plane at 44 millimeters. We'll press OK. We've got a new plane here, and we can see that it intersects the sphere. Let's select that plane, create 2D sketch. And let's select the circle tool and go into Eclipse. And uh, let's start this from the center and define our first axis point and a second axis point. And then we need to dimension these two. So this dimension here will be three millimeters and this dimension here will be four millimeters. We then need to project the geometry of this sphere. So let's select the circumference. Then we can select the coincident constraint and put a constraint between the two center points. So the center point of the sphere and the center point of our eclipse, like so. That's now fully constrained. Press finish sketch, it's looking good. Let's right click on this plane, press V on the keyboard, hide that. Let's just go into sketch 13, edit that sketch. Let's just right click on the circumference of the sphere and put that as a construction line. Finish sketch, there we go. And now the only thing left to do is to put in the guides. 
And so to do this, let's start a new sketch on the XY plane. Let's go a new sketch. Now I want to select my eclipse and I want to project that geometry. So I'm going to select the eclipse here. As we can see, we've now got this yellow line, which we can, uh, which we can use uh, as reference. So let's go on the arc tool in the front view. Let's select this corner here and we want to go right to the end of our eclipse. And for the radius here, we'll input 70. Stay using the arc tool and we'll go from the bottom corner this time and we'll go to the end of our eclipse, which ends just here. We'll then put a rad of 100, press OK. And these are our two guides, which will be used for the loft tool. So let's finish the sketch there. And the very last thing to do is to get a 3D model, select the loft tool, and first we need to identify our sections. So let's add two sketches, and number one will be sketch 11, and the second one will be our eclipse, which is this one here. And for the rails, we'll just identify these as being sketch 15, which are the two uh, radii lines here. Press OK. Now we can see the preview looks good. Select OK. And there we have our completed wall mounted hook. Any questions, please put them in the comments section. But aside from that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.